Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push Through dark clouds that try to tear you down Why they want to tear me down? Big Mars energy. We up in here all sexy and sensual like big, 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 big Mars energy around this bitch. Aries. Gang, gang. Are y'all over here creating? Literally living your life like it's fucking golden. Hmm. Hmm. And looking damn good while doing it, might I add. Gracefully. Hmm. Hmm. Ram gang, G- gang gang. Listen, I know some of y'all is like oh, in that mobile. Listen, this is how we come in all 2020 and beyond. Okay, authenticity. This is Mo After Dark, the tarot edition on some shit. Okay, and you guys, I've missed you so much. I we will not. I say, uh, 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 Ram gang. We in this in this thing I said up ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I said up ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I said up ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say hey what you doing here if you ain't looking for no Aries. We stay turned up we be talking about them Aries gang gang gang. Crank up for Aries. Crank that, pop that, shake that, turn up for Aries. What's poppin', gang, gang? Did you miss me? <gasps> Some of miss y'all fine asses. Listen, honey. Hey, boo. Hey, if this your first time on my channel, I'm Oka. Also, if this your first time on my channel, look out. I cuss, okay? I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you with your fine ass, please feel free. To find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you right there now. Because I'm a cuss. This is how we do it out. Okay. Also, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the donations, the readings, guys, the support, the love. You guys, thank you so much from the most humblest space ever. Okay. Update on the progress. Aries want to know, Mocha, how you doing? Honey, listen. Honey, this is how I'm doing uh, I can't get up how I want to, but I can shake them things there, 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 there. Listen, honey. So, honey, if you must know, I'm doing well and swell. I got my cane trucking back there, and sometimes we, you know, we 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 we, we truck with a little with a little dip, but that's okay, cause I ain't no damn simp. I'm a pimp of motherfucking pill. Okay, listen, I know y'all, we goofy, but in intermission, all right? But anywho, um, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional, as you can see. ADD is real over here, okay? However, we don't fuss and fight around this motherfucker. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? Over here, we love, we grow, sometimes we cry, we laugh a lot, okay? We evolve, positive vibes only, positive type of teens, okay? If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description, as this is not going to resonate with every motherfucking Aries. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, don't stress yourself trying to put it on, because your ass just going to fall, honey. If it ain't yours, leave it for who it's for. Huh? Huh? We're going to play nice in the comment section, okay? Shout out, all right? Shout out to shout out to shout out to uh your booze and them them damn cross watchers who be angry in the Aries section. Ten years ago, and Aries broke my heart. Listen, I understand. You know, everybody has their own process of healing, but don't come over here with that. Cause the dead. Listen, don't be mad at the Aries. Maybe the Aries was the catalyst for you to be thrusted into your purpose to move in your power. How you look at it? Okay, we flipping L's into lessons around this motherfucker. And anybody who's not willing to do that in the month of November twenty twenty and beyond, Aries is going to tell you to pack your bags and get the marching, okay? Or we'll pack the motherfuckers for you or march by our damn selves, all right? You guys, Aries, let me go ahead and jump right in. First and foremost, <clears throat> the song <laughs> that I channeled for you guys 
was Khalees Bossy. Okay, I'm literally here. Alexa, play Khalees Bossy. I'm bossy. I'm the first girl to scream on the track. I switched up the beat of the drum. That's right. I brought all the boys to the yard. And that's right. I'm the one that's tattooed on his arm. Aries, you already motherfucking know. Okay? Aries, I also picked up the uh, Claire audience. Throwing, they're throwing, they're, they smile in your face, Aries, okay? All the time they want to take your place, them fucking backstabbers. However, these some different type of backstabbers. These is the people who smile in your face. They support you. They come in love and light. What's up, sis? Did you hear that? I'm talking to people who refuses, who refuses. They want what you have, but they refuse to do the work in order to get there. And I feel like for some of you all, you're seeing things for exactly for exactly for what they are. Aries, somebody they throwing rocks at the throne, kid. They throwing rocks at the throne, kid. Meanwhile, we sit up. We sprinkle these bitches, okay? Sprinkle these bitches, cause guess what? Aries, we shall not be moved. We shall not be bothered. We shall not be shooketh, okay? I am picking up the energy of Aries. People intentionally trying to push your buttons, okay? I definitely feel like every action does not deserve a reaction because I definitely feel like people have become comfortable with who you used to be. And your actions are showing individuals that in order to step in your damn arena, in order to step in your stratosphere, your space, they got to come correct and get their vibe right because Aries is no longer dimming their light to make people fucking comfortable, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of frenemies, Aries. I picked up on a lot of, um, okay, so with some of my Aries, I am picking up on this, uh, this sense of, like, light codes, okay? I am wanting to call you all galactical beings. Some of you all are heavily, um, heavily, heavily connected to the elements when it comes to, um, I am hearing race war, so some of you guys could be studying, um, when it has to do with, like, planetary, galactic warfare, okay? Yeah, I fucking said it. Some of you all also are in this space, okay? There is a lot of esoteric activity with Aries, okay? I definitely feel like uh, there's a lot of stepping into purpose. I am hearing ministers, okay? I'm hearing public. I am also hearing platforms. Some of you guys could be starting new platforms. Some of you all also could be signing contractual deals when it comes to expanding a current platform. And I feel like it's coming left field, okay? Aries who have your own business, who actually has someone else's, who else, someone else that manages your money. Be very careful when it comes to dealings, having a third party um, to do with your money. I definitely feel like somebody's trying to pull some motherfucking funny business. Also, someone, someone, okay, Aries, some of y'all have family members. For some of y'all, this is friends. There's this very weird ass obsessive energy when it comes to the, like, attaching to your energy. I feel like for some of you all, you have people who refuse to get left out in the cold. These people, they don't want to get cold. They want to steal your blankets, Aries. They want every fucking, I feel like these people, there's a lot of entitled, entitlement around your energy. I feel like for some of you all, you're basking and you're, you're, you're in the space of gratitude for your blessings and there's individuals around you that feel as if they should be telling you how you should be spending, what you should be doing, how you should be raising your kids. Everybody has a plan for you, Aries, and I definitely feel like you're taking your power back when it comes to that. A lot of you all, there's a need for you all to keep your, hold, hold your horses, be smooth, okay? Because karma definitely works both ways is what I'm hearing, okay? Some of you all, Aries, be very careful with how you're spending your money. Some of you all could be in this space of really reflecting. I am getting a lot of, do you remember the time? Okay, some, some of y'all is getting into a lot of reminiscent energy. This could also be someone who is not wanting to close out of a cycle close out a cycle with you. I am hearing past life, okay? I'm also hearing Aries, some of you guys could have binded someone to you in the past life and I feel like that 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 soul contract is being voided in this life and I feel like this individual there's a love-hate energy with this person. This could be a friendship but I'm picking up heavily like a relationship, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of conspiracy theories and Aries, I'm also hearing holistic healers. So some of you guys could be um, making drastic changes when it comes to your diet in the month of November. I'm also picking up on a lot of energy around fasting. Some of y'all going to receive a lot of major damn downloads while fasting. 
I'm also picking up on kicking bad habits. So some of you guys could also be incorporating some type of workout regimen. I'm also picking up on like picking up on this element of like body shaming or like mirror ma some, some okay, some of you guys are using mirror magic in order to manifest your body. I'm also uh, ma manifest the perfect body. I'm picking up on a lot of ancestral energy, okay? So some of you guys could actually be making direct contact or subconscious contact with your ancestry or receiving some type of like direction. I feel like this is a sense this is a sense of like a, okay, some of you all are connecting with your inner compass. Is what I'm hearing. For others of you, Aries, some of you guys could have started something new. There could have been like a split or a breakup. I feel like for some of you all, someone is someone. This could be you or another person that is really sitting up and they are in. They fucking, somebody is hurt, hurt, honey. They is crying. I'm talking about snotty nose. <laughs> the, 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 stiff, the stiff fucking sniffles crying, Aries. I feel like for some of you all, you assisted someone or someone came in to assist you with expanding your heart chakra. I feel like someone came in to also make you address address uh, some type of like harbored childhood uh, childhood wounds around abandonment, also around rejection or the need of validation. Aries, I'm picking up on the energy of you prove them wrong. Someone could have shitted on your ideas or attempted to. Someone could have also doubted you. It's like someone, did, some of y'all could definitely have Leo on your chart too. But some, someone could have doubted you, and they didn't. They didn't want to show you love until they saw everybody else showing you love. Like someone feels okay. All right, this is the same person. Okay. Some of y'all could have recently reconciled with a friend. This could be another fire sign, Aries, Dill, Sagittarius. This could also be someone who is an earth energy. I feel like this individual, there's this element of this person being happy to reconcile with you, but I feel like you intimidate this individual. Like the new you, the evolved you, this individual, you, you make this person see aspects of themselves in which they've been complacent with. I feel like for some of you all, Aries, this individual could, you, I mean, and I feel like some of you guys could peep the signs when it comes to this individual. I feel like someone could be comparing themselves to you. I feel like you could share, uh, like, share your interests or share your ideas with this individual and they, like, they don't really respond but they respond with talking about themselves. I feel like some of you all are pulling the plug on one-sided ass relationships. If someone's not adding to your energy, you just subtracting their ass from the fucking equation altogether because you want people who are supportive. A lot of you all are letting your guards down and trusting individuals. You're open to the to the aspect of duality when it comes to meeting your goals, okay? I am also picking up on um I'm picking up on an Aries who have a sex like I'm picking up on someone who has a sex addiction but they're like in complete denial about the sex they don't they don't somebody feels like they don't fucking have an issue at all. They feel like this is normal. I'm also picking up on the the um, the aspect of lineage breakers, like someone being here to break lineage cycles around this crab in a barrel ass type mentality, especially when it comes to the matriarch, the matriarch aspect of their family. I'm also picking up on the energy as well. Aries, your glow up makes someone judge themselves like someone is trying to live vicariously through you and I feel like you make this person like someone is <clears throat> someone is really beating their own ass because they need to be needed and you don't need them like someone wanted to paint the picture that you're a needy individual to themselves to make themselves feel relevant to being in your life or feeling entitled to be in your life and I feel like for some of you all, you're beginning to see through the smoke. You're beginning to see through the illusions. For others of you, you could be dealing with the sign of Leo or Sagittarius. This could also be um, someone who is a Cancer or a Pisces. I'm picking up on the energy of someone also like someone not knowing how to approach a situation or someone not knowing if it's safe to approach a situation. I'm also picking up on somebody one somebody wants Somebody wants to come in or someone wants to come in and reconcile with you. I feel like this person is going to be super nice, but someone's going to bring up something that is very triggering to you. I feel like you've already done the work when it comes to healing, but deep down in the depths of this person's soul, they have not. I feel like someone wants to get a rise out of you to prove that you are still like the same person. This is some petty ass shit as fuck. All right. <clears throat> so let me get into the quick channel messages that I got that I wrote down for you guys during my session. 
You guys, I got unexpected pregnancy. Yes, yeah, smoke a lot of kids. Congratulations. I got two faced. I got certifications, throat chakra, fake thief, unexpected income, authenticity, career transitions, light codes, acting their wage, practitioner, multifaceted, new home, securing the bag, hate that you're great, closure, evil eye, spiritual protection, detox, celibacy, fasting, <clears throat> business expansion, successful new starts, healer of the ages, sacral chakra, astral stalking, condescending apologies, intimidated by your fire, stalker, multifaceted, let me make sure I got everything, y'all, honey. Akashic Records, okay? So for some of you all, some of you guys could actually be wanting to um, share your gift. Like some of you all know how to consciously, uh, consciously assess your Akashic as well as the Akashic Records of others. I feel like some of you all want, uh, I'm also picking up on some type of certification. So some of you all could be wanting to get some type of Reiki certification, or you could have a Reiki certification or be some type of Reiki. Or you could be a Reiki master. Maybe you're wanting to expand as far as sharing your gifts with the collective and healing others. For some of you all, you don't feel as if you're going to be... Like, there's this, like, emotional roller coaster, this mental damn roller coaster when it comes to... I think I can, I think I can, I know I can, I think I can, maybe not, I think I can. more. But there's a need for you to ground yourself and trust yourself. Some of you all are very nervous about starting something new or something that is like unexpectedly offered to you. And I feel like Spirit is saying, yes, you're ready. You manifested this. A lot of rapid manifestations, Aries. Watch what the hell you say in the month of November. All right. So let's get into your crystal oracle with message. I've been running my damn mouth. <clears throat> Aries, some of you all also could be going through a lot of allergenic. Issues. I'm picking up on uh, eucalyptus, thyme, yarrow, herbs. Some of you guys also could be um, creating something like some type of holistic business online. You're needing help. I feel like you need to open up and ask for help. And stop assuming that everybody is looking to fuck you over. Be very discerning. Your instincts and your intuition is at an all-time high. Trust yourself, my babies. Spirit messages. Well, what crystal will be good for Aries for the month of November? What? Okay. Appetites. Appetite. Appetite. Y'all know we don't officially chop and screw these damn crystal oracle messages. Number 19, okay? Some of you all are needing to make a judgment about something. Some of you all also may be feeling as if people are judging you due to your spiritual beliefs. Some of y'all just frankly don't give a damn, okay? Like there's a need for you not to give a damn, all right? For some of you all, this happens to be, okay, okay, listen, listen. Ain't nobody got time, man. Ain't nobody got time for some of y'all shit just may actually just unexpected things may occur. That's all right. Push through, my babies. Push through. Motherfucking malfunction. Guess what? We will stop. We will put that motherfucker on and we're going to keep it fucking trucking, all right? Appetite, acceptance. <clears throat> Appetite works at the interface between consciousness and the matter to let go of what is outworn in your life. Self-understanding, clear away confusion or guilt, accept the truth about yourself. You are a complex being with credits and, de and deficits. Recognize these without judgment. Move away from the aloofness or social alienation and show others who you truly are. Use your persist. Oh, yeah. I told you I used to fucking skip ELA, honey. I was smoking weed in the fucking student's parking lot. Persipus. Listen, honey, okay? Perspicity. I think that's what it is. If it ain't, I ain't no damn English teacher. You have much to offer by way of service as you access insights for the collective good. Be inspired. Discern truth within. Recognize what is real in your world and reconstructure your reality. Don't be deceived by false fronts. See what is beneath. 
develop your metaphysical perception. Things improve steadily. Understand that circumstances are merely learning opportunities. It is time to be of service to others. Teach what you know. For healing insight, your intuition knows what is best for you. The frequency of this stone is high, good for the third eye chakra and the base chakra, also good for Geminis and for those discerning the truth within, okay? For some of you all, Aries, I'm literally hearing, <clears throat> I'm literally hearing lineage, okay? So for some of you all, there's a need for you to dig deep or there's an interest for you to dig deep when it comes to, especially when it comes to your mother's side of the family, okay? I feel like for some of you all, you'll discover that you come from a, like a long line of royalty. I'm also picking up on the energy of, <laughs> I'm picking up on the energies of brothels. Somebody great grandmother, great aunt was a pimp pimp, honey. I'm also picking up on the energy of voodoo priestesses. I'm hearing shamans. Healer of the ages. I'm also hearing that, okay, I'm hearing innovator. Arcturian. Palladians. Galactic beings. Ancestral knowledge. Access beyond realms. Parallel universe. Some of you are ancient souls. Some of you are master souls. Some of you all have a strong purpose around star seeds. Some of you all also have a strong purpose around healing with frequencies. You could be an artist. You could be um, a musician. You can play instruments. You could also... Um, some of you all are readers. You're spiritual teachers. And spirit is... Spirit is really pushing you forward when it comes to acting on your gifts. Some of you all are humanitarians as well. You play a big part in the cultivating of the new world, Aries. It's time to boss the fuck up, okay? Alright, so let's get into the tarot. Let's see what the... What does the tarot have to say for my Aries? Are we being nasty or nice? Are both of them? <laughs> Also, Aries, for some of you all, stop judging. The Spirit is saying some of you all are judging your damn self. I feel like some of you all are really getting in tune with both aspects of yourself, okay? There's this level of integration that is happening internally within you. I do feel this energy of becoming one with self, okay? And accepting who you are, accepting and sharing who you authentically are, okay? Like me. I'm not, a, I'm not authentically a morning person. Don't fuck with me before 10 o'clock. I could love you long time. I don't, I love, my mama know, okay? Not before 10. Damn, Gina, okay? Shit. And it doesn't mean I'm going to love you any less. It just means I better have my Starbucks and, you know, my good sativa blessing before I have conversations because I don't want to. Fuck. Okay? So let's get it. So what messages do you have for my Aries? All right, Aries, there is a fire sign or a water sign. Seek relief, fly this. I feel like this person is coming up, trying to come up with a plan. I feel like this individual wants to paint the facade that they want to start something new with you. I feel like you could have left this person high and dry. And secretly, deep down, this person wants to come back, get you out, and then leave. Then leave, okay? Then leave. I feel like this individual is in love with you, but I feel like this individual has, I, you, you could have hurt this person's or struck this person's ego, okay? For some of you all, there's a fire sign where I feel like there could have been something that, okay, this, this could have been a new relationship. I feel like something was just getting off the ground and there could have been some type of secrets that came out. I feel like someone could have also thrown some type of like, Someone could have done something very petty. This could be someone who you have a child with as well, Aries, okay? I feel like someone doesn't want to see you happy if you're not happy with their ass. For some of you all, this could also be family. I feel like family could have been trying to cause uh, cause issues within your relationships. I feel like this wasn't done directly. I feel like this was very passive, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of, yeah, some of you all want, yeah, some of you all, there is a Leo that wants to mutually work things out with you. For some of you all, you're getting your shit together to come toward this damn Leo because I feel like for some of you all for some of you all this could even have to do with actually having the strength and taking like having the courage to start something new 
more faithless fears. What I'm hearing for some of you all, this Leo wants to know if some if a new or starting over with you is going to be safe. I definitely feel like for some of you, you both of you all mutually want to show one another. I do feel I do see a reconciliation with a damn Leo. Okay, this could also be whatever it is that you've been working on. Um, actually, um, launching Aries, I do see it actually becoming. It, it, I do see it actually being very lucrative. And having a positive outcome, I feel like there's there's this level of collaboration here. Okay, some of you guys are questioning if it's safe to collaborate possibly with someone who is another fire sign or someone who is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If this person is a water sign, their priorities is fucked up. If it has to do with business, I feel like take your time. Don't rush things when it comes to building something with this person. This person is very creative. They're very talented, but I feel like this individual have this aloofness to them that is going to procrastinate some of the things that you guys are trying to build okay i'm also picking up on that this is a co-parenting situation and someone is hitting reset on some type of co-parenting situation i feel like there's a child's parent that wants to apologize to the other one i feel like pride this person battles with pride issues i'm also here as sociopath some of y'all could be dealing with a sociopath some of you are also some of y'all could actually be here like there could be secrets coming out regarding an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Sagittarius individual. For some of you all also, some of you all, there's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This individual could be witnessing you moving forward. I feel like some of y'all have a damn stalker, okay? This person is creating seven, eight damn profiles to... Yeah, have access to you. Some of y'all could have blocked this person, completely cut this person's access. I'm also picking up on the energy of be careful when it comes to signing your name on documents during this time, Aries. I feel like some of y'all could be being charged, overly charged for something. I'm also picking up on this energy as well of like sometimes save your money because I feel like some of you guys may have some type of unexpected maintenance having to do with the vehicle. This could also have to do with some type of home repair as well. Someone could have also been doing some type of love spell to bring you back to the Aries. This could be another Aries. This could also be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone wants to know why the hell they damn love magic is not working on you, Aries. I'm also picking up on the energy. Some of you guys could be studying, studying some type of new craft. Some of you guys could be very heavily into astrology. I'm also picking up on the energy of rooms. Some of you guys could read rooms. <clears throat> some of you all are also wanting to have some type of like I'm hearing catering. Some of you guys could actually have some type of catering company. I am picking up on also like a flourishing business. Aries, I do see that a lot of y'all are going to be very busy during the holiday season as well when it comes to money. Yeah, and for some of my Aries, I feel like some of you guys are needing to speak up. If you want to see change in the current relationship, Aries, you really need to speak up about what's really bothering you. There's an air sign that really wants... I feel like some of y'all is... Feeling like off with a fucking air sign's head. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or this person is feeling that towards you. I feel like someone is getting called on their bullshit. And this person tried to make you out to be the bad guy. But the truth is getting ready to be revealed about this individual. Somebody is petty as hell. And misery loves company, baby. And you ain't attending the party no more. Okay? And this person is big mad. Not small mad. Big mad. Okay? They ego hurt Aries. I'm also picking up on the energy. Some of y'all is internally conflicted about moving forward with this Scorpio individual. I feel like for some of y'all, you're dealing with a Scorpio. This person could be your divine counterpart, but this individual, I feel like this person runs away from love because it's foreign to them. I feel like this individual could have had a very abusive childhood when it comes to like an emotionally manipulative or an emotionally abusive mother. This person could be a Pisces as well. This person could also be a Capricorn. I feel like there's a Capricorn that wants to see you stuck, Aries, because you ended something with them. This is another individual that feels as if they 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 curious. Who the hell are you? Why your why my fucking magic don't work on you, Aries? Some of you guys could be in a relationship with the water sign, or some of you guys could have a partner who had who has possibly a daughter here with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like this individual could be watching you. Someone could be planning some type of secret trip. Somebody could be working in conspiracy with a family member to create some type of awkward encounter with you, Aries. Some of y'all could even be finding out that someone separated from you and to get you back, they slept with a family member of yours. I feel like intuitively you felt this, but you didn't want to see this or you didn't want to believe this. I feel like all things are being illuminated, illuminated within the moon. 
I do feel that the moon cycles play a heavy portion of things being illuminated to you. I feel like whatever it is that's ending Aries, it's ending it's ending for the greater good. I feel like it's time for you to go to the next phase and your next cycle, okay? Things are cycling out. And there's this need of there's this need for you to accept it because I feel like you guys yeah, you guys are being elevated. Okay, you're being elevated to a to to a high okay to a higher level of consciousness and in this space i do feel that you are heavily protected by spirit and i feel that for some of you all things a lot of things are going to be revealed to you in your subconscious space aries for everything that you're unsure about i do feel that there's going to be a lot of confirmations through synchronicities of things being said to you um by strangers is what I'm hearing. For some of you all also, be open to receiving because I do feel that there's going to be some type of some type of blessings that come unexpectedly by way of strangers or by way of just you being, just by way of you actually being upstanding and walking in light, but seeing through the shadows in order to guide you as well. And trust in your inner compass, okay? You guys are the fucking high priestess, alright? So let's get in read some fucking advice here. Some of you all have new love here. There's a need for you to put your guard down and open your mouth and tell this person how you feel. Because for some of you all, some of you all, you, you, you're dealing with a situation where there's mutual feelings between you and another individual. But I feel like, Aries, you're coming off a bit passive. This person feels as if you don't care because you come off very nonchalant. There's a need for you to open up because I do feel that a relationship here can be saved. Uh, I'm also picking up on the energy of some type of information coming out possibly regarding a third party situation that could have occurred in the past. I am here in fraternity. Yeah. I'm also picking up Aries. The advice here is not to live so far in the future, but to be grateful, to be grateful and to also be current here in the now. I'm also picking up on you guys. Yeah. You guys coming in. Yeah, you guys coming into harmony within your head and your heart. I feel like for some of you all, Aries, some of y'all could even be walking away from a damn job. This is you choosing yourself, knowing your worth. And this is occurring not to force you to make a decision. But for spirit to gracefully lead you into your purpose, my babies. Just trust it. For some of you all, there's a relationship that wants to be transformed. But I definitely feel like both parties have to be open to having an open what to having to seeing things from many different spectrums as far as perception. Because I do feel that. One person is seeing things from a space of being healed and another person is seeing things from a space of ego and wanting to half-ass do the work when it comes to healing. And I do feel that this could be the discord in, any, in, in, in the, whatever this relationship is here, Aries. And I feel like for some of you all, you're just accepting that you cannot force a person to be, yeah. You cannot force a person to do things or see things the way that you want them to see them but that doesn't mean that you have to allow them to be emotionally mentally or physically um or spiritually abusive within your own energy you couldn't access if it's not assisting you to grow it gotta go in november twink twink okay um yeah you guys this is about self-mastery mastery of the self being one with self and also teaching others how to do this through your experiences okay because I definitely feel like a lot of you guys have a lot of people projecting their fears, their beliefs, their judgment onto you. And Aries, Spirit is really telling you, listen, see things from a different perspective. Don't judge these people because they're judging you. Understand that everyone goes through their own, everyone has their own unique challenges when it comes to their journey. Don't judge them because you know the hell and back that you've gone through. Seeing things from a different perspective. Allowing your soul to heal by getting to the root of your hurt, the root of your trauma. And being open to forgive and have conversations to bring closure to, to closure, uh, the, well, the proper closure to relationships. Signing out them damn karmic soul, soul contracts the correct way. So that you can stop repeating these cycles. Seeing the secular behavior. Tying it up with your lineage 
And seeing where it is that the cycle needs to be broken. So that your soul can truly heal. And evolve in this lifetime to move towards its purpose, its destiny. Finding compromise. Some of you all, this has to do with co-parenting. Seeing a situation from a different space. You being, you taking leadership when it comes to being the bigger person. Because in order for a motherfucker, in order for a motherfucker to bring war to you, you have to be a willing participant. In order for a motherfucker to disturb your peace, you have to open the door and give them access. So how you, how you react, creates or recreates this whole scenario. Okay. All right. So you guys, please let me know how this resonates with you. I love y'all asses a long, long, long time. Y'all asses better blow them fucking comment, blow that comment section the fuck up, cause I miss y'all. And if you have not followed me on Instagram already, what the hell are you doing this week? BT over there at Mocha underscore Love underscore Tarot, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, my babies. <laughs>